Hi, this is Lee Amos with Conservation Foundation of the Gulf Coast. Today I am out at Pine Island Preserve at Matt Lachey Pass, a beautiful property owned by Conservation Foundation down in Lee County. And I'm out here checking on some different uh, management activities we're working on. And I wanted to check out the status of our longleaf pine. We planted some longleaf trees about two years ago from seed that we collected on the island, grew in a nursery, and then brought them back, planted them here at the property. Um, and here's one of those longleaf. You can see these really long needles, grassy-like needles, on this very short little plant. The plant itself is probably just four inches tall, and then we've got about 12 inches of needles on top of that. The longleaf pine exhibits a very interesting growth habit when it's young that they call the grass stage. And in this stage, it really just looks like a, a short little bunch grass. The purpose of this, they think, is to protect the plant from frequent fires. Longleaf pine and, and southern pine communities, they really burn every year or every three years down in South Florida. And uh, so this plant needs to protect itself from these frequent fires. And the way it does it is by growing this bunch of grass all around it, grass, these needles, all around it. And when the fire passes through, it reaches the needles and they just kind of steam. They don't really want to burn. And then hopefully the, the fire passes, it burns through all this dry grass quickly, passes and then the tree's fine. And this tree's gonna stay at this grass stage for probably four or five years, building up energy down on the roots till it has enough energy to shoot up really, really fast. And the matter of a couple of years will grow up and above and out of the reach of the fire pretty neat adaptation to frequent fires that the longleaf pine has and uh, down here in South Florida the South Florida slash pine also has this adaptation kind of interesting so the the slash pine is more of uh, a more common tree down in South Florida and as you move north the longleaf pine becomes more common somewhere in between you have a mixture and uh, here at Pine Island Preserve, we do have a mixture of pines. Primarily, it's all South Florida slash pines, but we also have the longleaf pine. And that's why we thought it was important to propagate some trees and restore this property with longleaf, which had probably been logged out of this property in the 20s, who knows when, early 20th century. Um, so that's the longleaf pine, and you can see the South Florida slash pine has a similar grass stage. Um, however, the, the needles really aren't quite as long, but it's still going to have this grass stage and um, use it that stage to protect itself from fire. Please, if you haven't done so already, visit conservationfoundation.com, like us on Facebook, Conservation Foundation of the Gulf Coast, or visit our Instagram page, Conservation Foundation GC. There you can learn more about the Conservation Foundation, how we save land, and what you can do to help. Thanks so much. Until next time, this is Lee Amos having fun in the field.